Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to back up the icon layout on your desktop and that way you could restore it as needed. So let's say you're always changing your resolution for doing things such as recording videos or playing games and then once you switch it back all your icons get messed up you know with the way they're organized on the desktop. So you could use this tool to back up their configuration and you could also make multiple configurations if you want to do so. So they have an installer version and a portable version. So I'm using the portable version here. So let's say I have these icons just where I like them. All I need to do is click on save. And now I have it saved here and it'll save it with the resolution name. I'm recording at a low resolution for this video. That's why it says 1280 by 720. And unfortunately, I haven't found a way to rename it. You could delete it, restore it. I use this for restore at Windows startup. And that's about it. Okay, so let's say everything got messed up here. Let's just move some stuff around. Like so. So now if I select my backup, click on restore, it'll put everything back to the way it was. So now if I make a new file, for example, and then I put this somewhere and then I move stuff around again and click on restore. It's not going to affect this new file because it's not part of the backup. So of course I can make another backup here, like so, and it has the timestamp. So now if I move this file and restore this, it'll put it back to its original location when the backup was made. And if I delete the document though, and then try and restore. It's not going to bring it back, so I don't think it's going to restore items that you delete. All right, then you also have this option here if you want to just punch the icons and make a random position, it'll just kind of make a mess out of it, so it's not worth doing. Uh, and then there's some options up here. You could save your icon, layout, load them, go to the uh, folder where the executable is, and they have some other tools here. If you want to see your open windows, and if you click on one of these, it'll close the window that's associated with it. Uh, you could hide your mouse cursor. If you want to turn this on when it's activated. You could even hide the desktop icons. If I click on that, it'll hide them. Then I uncheck it. It'll bring them back. And then you could decide when they're hidden. Always use the mouse wheel. You want to do some system tools and all kinds of other stuff here. They even have their own you know, calculator app here if you want to check that out. And they have some other options here, some save options. So even if you change this, you know, screen resolution's name or work area's name, it seems to put its own thing. But if you come here, you could change the custom text with some variables, I suppose, if you really wanted to get technical. Uh, auto save options, if you want to have it auto save your setup here. Auto arrange when switching the user, save on Windows shutdown, and so on. So there's a lot of options too. But I would assume the main feature is just to back up your desktop icon configuration in case you want to easily restore it in case it keeps getting messed up every time you change the resolution or play a game or something like that. All right, so I will put a link in the description for Desktop OK, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.